What's up, everybody? I'm Duke James. This is Vietnam 3.0. Mu and Texas 3.0, that is. Alright, so... That's not right. Alright, music. There we go. Alright. Gonna wait till the end of this month. There we go. I have a little bit of a deficit going. Because I have the double whammy of both doing no taxes, so nobody's paying any taxes. Problem with taxes is uh, I like to just give no taxes to the peasantry and the residents, but the the nobles, burghers, and clergy also uh, jump on that no taxes train, and they pay zero taxes when you do that. I'd like to actually, uh, you know, like double, triple their taxes. If they don't like it, they can go to the guillotine. What's all this stuff? Disowned relative, noble concessions, show of devotion, reduced tributes, state-sponsored commerce. Let's uh, go ahead and do all that again. And then, so I did taxes, and then most of this property actually went negative. That's, did it go negative? Okay, a couple months ago it was negative like 400 ducats in this province, so maybe this year it will actually improve. Apparently it's costing me 2,000 ducats. Probably won't cost that next year, but uh, now is a pretty good time to go ahead and give some land to the peasants, because I wanted to do that before, so... Let's go ahead and give them half of our property. We're going to give 2,500 units of farmland to the peasants. Speaking of which, I think this province had a massive... Yeah, I put 1,000 ducats into the farmlands in this province. It is producing negative 1,736 ducats. So that is a massive deficit right there, and I'll pass that off to the peasants. They'll just end up paying themselves, so it won't hurt them, really. We own close to 80% of the farmland now, so we're paying 1300 so I was paying 2,000 ducats in property maintenance. 1,368 of that is this. So if I give the peasants 2,500 units of farmland, it's going to be 50% of this 1,260, so what is that, 630? 630 units of this 2,534 units of farmland is going to be from this province alone. We're going to get to 10 corruption, lose its stability points. The bureaucrats hate us. That's alright. Speaking of the nobility and guillotines... What do the nobility have? 24% of the farmland, 23% of the mines, 37% of the forests. I'm gonna go ahead and take mines from them. We can take 2,200 units of their farmland. Pretty much just, uh transfer that farmland from the nobles to the peasants. Let's see how much mines we could get. 659 units of mines. How much of the uh, shitty property do the nobles own? They own about 7% here. Like 23% there. 25% here. I'm gonna take that farmland from them actually. Pretty much just replace what I took, what I gave to the peasants. But uh, the peasants now own that, so that's good. And that was, I took, I think I took mostly uh, good farmland from the nobility. So I transferred my bad farmland that I owned before to the peasants, half of it. And then I took half of the nobility's farmland, which was good. So I replaced bad farmland with good farmland. And over time, the peasants will just end up paying themselves. And that will uh, eventually balance out and they'll start making money from that. The nobles make about 3,100 ducats. 
the clergy make about 2,000, but I think that's because I, I'm giving them 5% of my tax revenue, so they should be making a good amount of money from that. I think a lot of that is from that. And the burgers are making about 3,000 ducats. I think Commerce Property is doing pretty good this year. For the most part. Not here. Maybe not. It's negative in most of these provinces, actually. Yeah, so they're probably being weighed down by that uh, negative commerce income. This province has gems and coal, much like this province. And much like that province, it has no mine size. Oh, okay, I can't actually switch. Its mine size is zero. It's not cord, so I can't use the menus. Let's see if that works. There we go. Yeah, mine size none. Which... Which actually kind of sucks, because this province is on the ocean, so I could do sea salt in there if they had any kind of size to them. But they do not. I'm drilling these guys almost at 100, actually. A couple months to get that to 100. The truce with China actually ends in August 1701, so I'm going to go ahead and attack them again. They're fighting Goryeo. I assume they're going to take more territory from them. I thought that was Portugal for a second. Same exact color as Portugal. Wouldn't make much sense for that to actually be Portugal, because I don't know how they could get that territory, but it definitely looked like Portugal for a second. What do the burgers own? 10% of the industrial property. 5% of the academic. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything worth taking from the burgers. Pretty much just commerce property, but I'm not taking that. And the clergy own about 11% of the farmlands. 43% of the academic property. So I could go ahead and take academic property from them when that's available to take. I'm probably not going to do taxes again. Because that's a lot of money that I just lose. And I like to funnel that back into irrigation. Check out the uh, census. Let's see. Alright, pop growth is about 113,000, so our pop growth is definitely taking off finally. We have about inward movement of about 20,000, and outward movement of about 41,000. I assume most of that is going to the cities. Tenant size is about 17.2 17 million. So we're getting to 30. Over time, the more tenant size we have, the more people, the faster our natural change will be. So that is a snowball effect. Hopefully that uh, increases even more. Resident size, about 3.2 million. 31,000 people moving into these cities. Natural change of 8.6 thousand. I'm building amenities in a lot of provinces, so this natural change should increase. Especially down here, there's a couple provinces where there are... There were hundreds of people dying. Looks like those are now... Yeah, this province has about 500 people dying, so... If that could flip, that could be potentially a thousand people increased as well. But that is a lot of people moving to our cities now. So that's good. Nobles about 113,000. Burgers 25,000. Clergy 47,000. 124 million total. Of course, that is wrong, but it's good reference from... Uh, previous points. Tenant wealth is about 0.891. Average spending 0.8, so massive investment in the farmlands I think is uh, paying off in terms of increasing their surplus of money, so hopefully that leads to increased fulfillment and more people. Residents per capita wealth 48 ducats. And they have a good surplus. Nobles, burgers, clergy... Look like they're all doing pretty well, especially the burgers with a per capita wealth of 4,179 ducats. All of their life needs and their knowledge are all above two, so they're doing pretty good in the country. 
Industry-wise, it looks like our food production has uh, gone positive. 5,424 units of food being produced. Demand 5,000 salt. Isn't really going to uh, do much. I suppose I could do some investments into salt again. Yeah, it looks like some provinces don't have salt industries down here. That one doesn't, that one doesn't. That one does. This one does. So there's probably a couple unit, a couple provinces where I can do some salt industry and get some uh, increased salt production, but there's not, not a whole lot I can do in salt. So I'm capped on that. Pretty low. So that's probably just going to uh, get worse as time goes on. Fiber production is not enough to meet demand. The cities are expanding so fast, fiber demand has outstripped fiber production. Same with fuel. Fuel is now doing pretty bad. Raw materials is doing bad because we're building a lot of stuff. Exotic goods, 109 versus 252. I'm trying to build irrigation to get that up. Once all this stuff is cored, uh, Kalimantan produces a lot of spices, so I'll start working on irrigation down here, and then I think some of these Philippine provinces also produce spices as well, so I'll work on irrigation over there as well. Consumer goods are doing really good because of our cities. Military is actually positive now. Naval's really good. Industrial's good. Luxury's good. And knowledge is still good. So let's see. Clear that. Special map modes. Look at potential mines. Yeah, I can't do anything on that. And I can't do anything here. And these provinces are not fully stated either. So I'll hold off on that. On that stuff. Salt production mostly. Grab the next naval idea, some naval force limit, shipbuilding time, negative 5%, global ship repair, plus 5%. Let's get these ships going. Do a spy network over there. couple months and these 105,000 troops will have max drill. Alright, went a little bit, uh, had like a year. So Ming is fighting Goryeo. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack them. Trade dispute CB. I'm gonna try to loot these provinces, see if I can grab as many of these forts as possible, because then they'll have to come back and try to grab those forts, and I might be able to do like a... one of those, uh, you know, chevauchés. Let's bring these guys down. Severe looting. Let's see how this goes. I will build a bunch of mercs. Okay, perfect. And then I had special commissions, so that reduced my discipline by 2%. So that's actually gone, so that's nice. So I don't have to worry about that. I need 20 artillery for a plus 5 bonus now. Alright, you can have all my artillery then. Speed this up a little bit. Yeah, it just don't match that same uh, siege ability as a Western power. 
with uh, good armies. Because my siege ability from the national manpower modifier is actually negative. Whereas the positive, if it was a uh, positive, then that would be... I think it'd be like plus 15, 20% siege ability, so I would just rip through these provinces. So I imagine they're moving hundreds of thousands of troops over here, from over here. So it's just a matter of time before they get over here. It's also a lot of war score from blockades. And also, the forts are pretty high level now. Level 6 and 7 forts. So they're harder to break into. If I can get this province, that'd be nice. That'd be a couple thousand ducats. I don't really need it, but it's always good to have money. And I only have a two siege guy. Unfortunately. Let's uh, complete naval ideas. Hopefully that unlocks heavies. Otherwise I kind of just wasted that entire idea group. Are they just leaving their troops up there in Korea? Well, that's unfortunate. That's alright. They can take that. About a thousand ducats from that. Not a huge amount, actually. They do have a lot of troops, actually. They have close to 500,000. They have no manpower. Interesting. They are now done with that, so I imagine they're going to move those troops all over here. So I'm going to move these guys actually back. Try to grab some of this territory that's uh, unforded. I wonder how many heavies, if I can build them. How many heavies would I need to uh, destroy their heavies? Also, apparently. Apparently I can't build them. Alright, that seems fair. They're gonna make me get grand naval ideas. To get some heavies. Nah, they should, they should give me heavies. Give me heavies. I'm gonna move over here. Apparently they don't want to do battle. Where are your soldiers? You got 500,000 of them. Maybe it just takes a long time to get through China.
Our ruler is an obsessive perfectionist. Material cost for projects, 10%. Labor cost for projects, plus 10%. Ship building time, 10%. All right, then. Do they not have men somewhere? They don't have more men around here? Alright, 28,000 for 2,200. Go ahead and take all of the cannon. Let's take this stuff, move over here then. have a siege general or just a general in, in general they should have a general general what are they doing where's their men they're not trapped somewhere are they also Gorier really wrapped around here They've also taken the Ainu Islands, which is interesting. Oh no, they killed my general, my uh, troop. Have those guys walk over there. There's 130,000 men. Problem is, these sieges take so long. Even with max cannon and a, a level 2 siege general. Who apparently just died. And these are uh, show superiority wars, so I might as well just do battles then. And then just quickly get out. Otherwise, if I was as fast as a uh, European power, I could probably just send a 20k stack to just outrun... Outrun them. Go ahead and roll a general. Zero siege general. A six zero five. Really? A five one three one. We can get between seven and seventeen pips. Okay, so maybe. Makes sense that these are kind of so low. Is this even a good province anymore? Not particularly, actually. Only 201 industry 
size, pretty much no Yeah, I've kind of destroyed most of these provinces. Let's go back. Could uh, take out this 45k stack actually pretty easily. Like, what, are you guys going to reinforce with that 12k stack right there? What are you even thinking? It's not going to happen. They brought a rake to a gunfight. Let's go over here. Ooh, that's not what I want. Alright. The cannons are here, so I'd rather not attack with the uh, that, but we'll see how this goes. All right, I get it. Truces have expired. All right, all right, all right. here for a little bit. What's the force limit here? I think it's like 160. It's pretty high. Let's do have access to heavies. No heavies. Fuck. What is it? Here. Western nations can get access to heavy ships automatically. Other nations can build them if they westernize, which you can't do anymore. If they have the Grand Navy Idea Group, or if they have both the Western Arms Trade Modifier and Naval Ideas. I'm pretty sure the Western Arms tra Trade Modifier doesn't exist anymore, because that was a westernized thing. So I assumed I could get Naval Ideas and then get it, but apparently I need Grand Navy Ideas. Which I assume is Grand Fleet ideas. Did I do that for my Fez campaign? I had to get Grand Fleet? I thought I just got naval ideas and I just did Grand Fleet because I wanted to have a good navy. Maybe not. That is annoying. Alright, let's take off these dead stacks. I'll just leave the mercs alone for now. Don't... Not in a particularly huge need for troops at this moment. Imagine these troops are going to run. Yeah. They're running from me. But you outnumber me by so much. I feel like they don't have a whole lot of good provinces anymore. They're mostly over here, which is a lot of forts to get over there. What are you offering me? 5,200 ducats and 10% war reps. I 
I'm gonna go up north, try to loot these two provinces. They should have a decent amount of loot in them. So far we've looted 13,000 ducats, 1.2 million civilians dead. That is a lot of civilians. Give him all the cannon. Oh, they've landed troops behind me. And destroyed my stack of mercenaries. Thank you? And now they're leaving? Are you guys just gonna, like, hit and run? That's literally what they did. They landed troops to destroy that stack, and then they left. Ming, that's very rude. It's rude to do that. All I want to do is just loot your provinces. And you have to kill those defenseless people. I'm ashamed of you. I have positive income now. From not collecting taxes. Looks like most of these cores are going to be finished soon. They're either 5% away or two-thirds of the way there. Yeah, January 1st usually lasts 30 seconds, which is why I'll generally have cuts around January 1st. Skipping January 1st to, uh... Skipping January 1st and January 2nd to January 3rd. This screen. Because I will switch out of here and wait, and then it pauses on the third. Don't think I even need troops. There's that 70k stack somewhere around here. Ah, they're attacking from the other side. Alright, this is floodplains. They really stood no chance there. No, that's rude. Don't do that. What is this? Oh, that's forests. They might swing around and try to attack. 
any troops I leave here for reinforcements. So I'll go ahead and just attack them with everybody. Should stack wipe them if I can catch those troops. Looks like they had some separatists rise up. Don't want to fight their uh, rebels for them. What is this? Forests again. Alright, so... Let's attack with that stack and reinforce with this stack. Where are you guys trying to go? And a 4-3 with 90,000 troops, that is a floodplains. I also have these troops up here. I'm going to have to go through forts to get to this province. Ah, there's a fort over here. Alright, I'll take that fort. It's forests. You want to attack me there? So they're going to try to reinforce with that stack up there. And that stack. And that stack. How many more stacks do they have around? Alright, because if they had a couple more stacks, I would have been hurting there. We lost 46,000 men. They lost 120,000, so... They're also in my territory now. Let's just piece them out. They want to give me 5,800 ducats. Transfer trade power. Let's, um... I like the idea of transferring trade power humiliating. Or uh, war reps humiliating and then some ducats. That's good. They lost only 328,000. I think they lost a couple million civilians. We looted 26,000, so... Quick little war there. Four cores left. Those guys can suppress again. These guys will come back. So about 34,000 ducats. Making about 100 ducats. A lot of property man, 767. That should be going to the peasants, so the peasants should be doing pretty well, actually. Really quickly, the... Peasant growth is what? 
104,000. So I think it was a little bit more before. But it's about 17.6 million people. And I think the natural change of the resonance actually decreased a little bit as well. Alright, well I'm going to end this part here and then uh, pick it in the next part. Probably do... Yeah, there's not a whole lot left, so there's definitely going to be f probably fewer and farther between episodes. Really just like three provinces to take and then... The hardest thing now is really just determining where to spend this uh, 34,000. Because I'm kind of just throwing ducats into provinces now, like a thousand ducats into this province. Which is helping with food, which is nice, but uh, also causing deficits, which I'm giving it to the peasants anyway, so it's not a huge deal. But uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.